flooding may have stopped our broadcasting yesterday, but it didn't deter the state basketball tournaments with all five remaining events down to their final four semifinals this evening. First up, East State A girls tournament. West Central and Lennox picked this one up in the third quarter. Really good game. These two went to overtime when they played in the regular season, so that was certainly no shock. Riley Peters with a bomb for three. She had 12 points. Lennox gets to within three. West Central has an answer. Cassidy Siemensma gets the rebound and puts it back, and West Central leads 38-33 after three. On to a very entertaining fourth quarter. The future SDSU Jackrabbit, Madison Vlostian, on the floor. Her future college team just won a Summit League title. Spin and hook shot. She had 23 as the Orioles get to within one. Rachel Eichmann, though, comes up clutch with a corner three-pointer here. As every time you thought Lennox was going to take the lead, West Central had an answer. Now we go to the final seconds. West Central clings to a three-point lead as Lennox gets a good look for three, and it rims out as time expires. And West Central is unbeaten. They're heading to the state title game tomorrow night. They win 44-41. Who are they going to get? Well, we find out with the next game between McCook Central Montrose and Winner. Winner also unbeaten. Cougars trying to take advantage of their size inside. That's Madison Kepsel with the rebound and put back as the Cougars take the early lead. The Warriors counter with some quickness. Calla Bertram will get the inbound and hit the runner right here as her team gets out to a four-point lead. MCM has a pair of twin towers in the middle as their other half of it is Abigail Van Ruler. Cougars get back to within one after one. However, Bella Swedland and the Warriors take over after that. She has 19 points, and here's two of them as winner. Just went final. It'll be a battle of unbeatens tomorrow in the title game. They take it 66 to 44. Looking at some other semifinals coming up tonight. We're going to have highlights of pretty much all of these games tonight at 10 o'clock. On the girls' side out in Rapid, Brandon Valley has defeated Mitchell. Harrisburg and Lincoln is underway. The boys' double-A tournament at 7.30 tonight. Harrisburg and Brandon Valley followed by the defending champion, Yankton. And O'Gorman over at the Premier Center. These games about to tip off. T taking on Pine Ridge, followed by Lennox and Sioux Falls Christian. And up in Aberdeen, this one also underway. Viberg Hurley against DeSmet, followed by Bridgewater Emery and Clark Willow Lake. The winningest girls basketball coach in South Dakota State High School history is retiring. Don Seiler announcing yesterday that she's retiring after 35 years as a head coach at McIntosh and Aberdeen Central. Her career record stands at 600 wins and 228 losses with state championships in 2016 and 2018. Enjoy your retirement, coach. For the second time in her career, Northern State's Hannah Castigar is a national champion. Castigar took home the national title in the 400 individual medley last night by quite a few lengths, as you can see right there. Winning in a school record time of 4-11-15, she'll go for another national title tonight in the 200 butterfly event she won in 2017. And finally, the Northern State men's basketball team begins Central Region play tomorrow in Maryville, Missouri against Southeastern Oklahoma State. After coming up one shot short of a national title, the Wolves weren't picked by many to be back, and they feel like they've got some unfinished business. Exactly, exactly. Our motto last year was we aren't done, and that's the motto we're going to take into this year too, into this postseason, and uh, keep trusting each other, keep getting back to work, get back to the drawing board, and get ready for a regional. I just think these guys, they don't, they're not, they're not cool guys. They're workers, man. They're blue collar dudes. They bring their lunchbox to work, and we get to coach them. I mean, how lucky are we? And, and they're, like I said, maybe, maybe it's a chip, but maybe it's just because from last year to this year, they just, they work, they deserve it. That game tomorrow at 2.30. We're back in one moment. 